But at this hour, as many as 200 hostages are still being held by Hamas and for their families. These past two weeks have been agonizing. And joining us now live from Israel is Noam alone. His girlfriend, Inbar Hyman, is among the hostages taken by Hamas. Noam, uh, thanks for being with us. Um, to begin with, our sympathies for everything that you're going through. Tell us a little bit about Inbar, and where she was taken, and, and when she was taken hostage. So Inbar is uh, 27 years old. Uh, she's uh, an artist and a graphic design student. Uh, she was in the party in the North Festival on uh, Saturday, on this uh, Black Saturday. And uh, we know all about her kidnap story. Um, at some point uh, during the terror attack in Bar and uh, her friends uh, ran. At some point she split from her friends. She ran with two guys and they are they survived and they describe how she was kidnapped by by uh, two terrorists on a motorbike who took her. Um, and later on, there's a video that Hamas posted on a telegram uh, showing uh, Inbar is taken by four terrorists uh, taken to Gaza. Describe the video that you saw on telegram. So I can uh, tell you that personally, I didn't watch it by myself. Um, my parents prefer me not to watch it because it's, uh, you can say it's really uh, hard to watch. Uh, but they watch it and they describe me everything. And you can see uh, Hamas uh, blurred uh, her face in the video. They put an emoji on the video, um, not showing that she got hurt in her face. Uh, we can identify her uh, from her uh, clothes, from her outfit. Um, she wore uh, dressed, uh, she wore uh, unique uh, pants, uh, tights, colorful tights. So we can clearly identify her. And for one frame, you can even see her face uh, clearly. And it seems like she got hurt. Uh, we cannot know for her condition, uh, how bad she got hurt, but we are knowing from the video that she's alive and that she was she were taken to Gaza, that she is now in Gaza. So aside from knowing that she's alive, you said you don't know whether or not she has been injured. Have you received any communication from Hamas as to what they want in exchange for her return? Uh, we didn't got any information from Hamas, obviously. Um, of course, the authorities in Israel are uh, made contact uh, with uh, our parents and with me. And uh, they promised to update us for any new information, but unfortunately, we don't. Uh, we didn't receive any new information, and I cannot know where she is in Gaza. I can only hope that her kidnappers are treating her um, as a human being and take her for a medical uh, help. And, and I want to believe, and I'm expecting from my government and from all the other governments in the world to do something. Um, to put all the, uh, to make all the efforts to make a deal to return all the hostages back home alive and safe now before any military operation, before any invasion. It must be a, de a deal now uh, to release all the hostages, all the citizens who were kidnapped in Bar. She's a citizen. There are 200 children and women and elders there. Uh, they must return back back home to us, back home to the families. Noam, um, that was what I was going to ask you, because as you heard us report just moments ago, the Israeli Defense Force is now saying that they will see the inside of Gaza. How concerned are you, and have you heard from, from the government about what they are doing to bring all the hostages home, perhaps before there is that ground invasion? Oh, you know, most of the things we are knowing is from the media, of course. Um, and I can only hope and to pray that, that the Israeli army won't do anything to risk uh, all the hostages' lives. And everybody in Israel knowing that the best way to return all the hostages is by making a deal and not by a military operation, because that is, this is not the way it will risk their life. And of course, we just want them back. We all want her back, Noam. Um... I thank you for talking to us. I know it's painful, 
um, but hopefully it will be helpful if anybody on the Israeli side is watching this to understand that there are lives on the line regardless of which way the ground invasion goes. Noam, um, we're in our prayers. Thank you.